You're watching Justin Vlogging. Hello guys, it's Justin Vlogging here. And last night, I went to an arcade with my stepdad that was in my mall. And I got some really cool things. So, I'm going to be showing you that. I didn't really have an idea for a video today. So, that's why I'm just showing you these things. The first thing that I have here is Icy Spray Candy. I've had this before. It is, I guess, sort of sour. The um, other thing that I'm about to show you in a couple uh, sex or seconds was um, super, super sour, like 10 times more than this. No, not sour at all. All right, well, at least not to me. It might be to some people. All right, there's what it looks like. It's a cherry flavor. Yeah, I see spray candy. It is three plus. But it's gonna say somewhere choking hazard because literally everything, like almost everything has a choking hazard warning. Hmm. I don't see one. Guess not. All right. So the next thing is another icy um, related thing. It is icy squeeze candy. Now this is way sour, like a lot. Um, to me, it's almost worse than Warheads. To other people, it might not be sour at all. It's just, it, it bothers me that it's in like a, um, let me show you. So thick. It's sticky, that's why I couldn't get it open. Anyways, so yeah, it's so thick and sticky and that just bothers me because that makes it, I feel like that makes it more sour if it's thicker or whatever. Oh, I need my water. Hang on. Okay, on to the next thing. Sour. Okay, so, um, last part of the candy are these Airhead Extreme Sweet and Sour Candy. I'm not gonna eat these now. These are so good. This is literally like my favorite candy besides Kazoozles, which are basically now they call them Sweet Tart Ropes. Um, but this is a really, really good candy. I really love them and they even come in bites now. I've tried those two, basically just the same exact thing, just in small bites. Um, anyway, so good. It's not really sour. It's my stepdad who doesn't like that much sour things, or that many sour things, still likes it. So, so yeah, that's good. All right, so the next thing I got is kind of gross. Taylor, I found your brain. Just joking. Anyways. This is a little squishy brain that you're supposed to throw against the wall and it'll stick. It, I guess it works, it kind of falls. The thing is, if you have like an animal in your house or a um, any sort of pet, really, that's out and has hair, um, you probably should think twice about buying this. Like, at my mom's house here, I have a bunch of cats. Like, my cat Momo is just sitting over there behind the other chair. Oh, did I, did I show you we have new chairs? And then the couch. Oh, I guess not. Anyways, so Momo's just sitting behind that other chair. She's just laying there. Um. Anyways, yeah. And if there's hair on the floor or anything like that, it sticks to this and it's kind of gross. You have to wash it. Right now there isn't any hair on here, but Still, it's 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 pretty gross if if you have um animal hair everywhere and then it gets on the brain or something sticky like this. Like th there's a um a company I think it's called Splat or something, and that comes with like eggs that are not real eggs of course, but like squishy eggs I guess, and you can throw them against the wall. And they also come with tomatoes um in this form. 
and everything else. So um, yeah, that's that company is actually really cool. The same thing. There's the same. Ugh, can't talk today. But the same exact thing happens with um their company too. So kind of a bummer. So anyways, the last thing is by far my favorite, disappearing ink. Now some people are skeptical of if this works or not. Trust me, it works. When I was at my old daycare um, a while back with my friends, uh, it, was, it wasn't really a daycare. I just went there after school. But um, I would take this and I'd go up to people and go, whoosh, and they'd be like, oh, you got ink all over me. And I'd be like, no, no, no. And I'd just say I'm joking. And just to prove that it works, I will squirt it on this white shirt, which it'll disappear, I promise you. Let's see if we can get the camera see. All right, so there it is, okay. Looks like actual ink was squirted on me. Now, after a while, it'll start to disappear. All right. Notice how it's fading away as I rub it? I don't know how good you can see it on the camera. But eventually it'll just disappear. See, it's almost all gone. Just a couple spots and everything, and that's it. All right. Okay, so, um, yeah, that is the disappearing ink, and it works. So, um, oh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's only two tiny little spots that will just go away with a little bit of rubbing. So... That's it. It works, so. Alright, yeah, that's the last thing. You can literally squirt it on anything and it eventually will disappear. So, um, yeah, I got all this stuff at the arcade. It says, oh, this says warning choking hazard. There you go. Not for children under three years. Probably can't read it. Oh, well. Anyways, so, yeah, Magic Disappearing Ink is what it was called. And I got all the stuff with the arcade. I didn't know um, the arcade had that much stuff. Um, cool things, but I... I can't talk today. Just to let you guys know. Anyways, I mean, I knew that this stuff was here. I just... I didn't know we had that many tickets. At a mall arcade, we had 800 and something tickets. And I still had like 28 left over. Yeah, so here's all the things again. First thing I showed you was this icy squeeze, or not icy squeeze, icy spray candy. And the second thing was the icy squeeze, and then the brain. No, the candy was after that. I, I can't think or talk today. What's wrong with me? Anyways, yeah, that, and then the brain, and then the disappearing egg. Tell me down in the comments below which one was your favorite, and uh, tell me what I should do my next video on. So, uh, see you guys soon. Bye.